So the leadership group came up with an idea, which I was a part of, and I'm going, no. Yeah, so most of these Sony home theatre amps have a um, protection mode um, integrated on, on each of the, the channels that basically detects any DC offset and protects your speakers via some um, some relays. So there's, uh, I think it's three three relays in total. Um, that's the, the rear left and right. Um, and this is the centre one here, and we, we brush past the, the front left and right at the beginning. Um, I suspect maybe there's a problem with with this one here, solder joint on the on the coil. Um, the coils, of course, dissipate a bit of heat, um, so a bit of bit of fatigue there, perhaps. Pretty easy to find on the board. They're um, well, they're the big bright blue relays, but you can see there they're the coils um, down the bottom. So that's where I want to focus my attention on the on the center channel. That's the one that's dropping out for me. Um, yeah, so they're, they're pretty easy to find. Um, yeah, not, not too difficult to, to open open up. Um, once you've got the, the cover off, there's just a few additional screws on the back there and uh, near the DC out, oh sorry, the AC outlet there. Um, that'll allow you to slide the board out once you've taken these screws out. So there's, there's two screws on either side of the heatsink. Um, if you pull them out, that's the other side. Then there's also a screw in the in near, oh, near the power supply there, um, and a couple of sneaky ones down in this little uh, little crevice. A bit harder to get at, but um, not so difficult. So you got to unplug all the uh, connectors. You got to be extra careful with that ribbon cable there. Um, just disconnecting the AC connector here, and there's this little. Um, no, I guess they're the DC rails. Just uh, pop that up. There's another connector there. So if you disconnect them, you can uh, pretty easily slide that whole um, whole main board out. And then once that's out, you've got yeah really good access to the bottom of the uh, PCB. So you can see here, these are the uh, the three relays. That one there in the middle is the, the center channel. Um, that's the one that I'm, I'm going to focus on. Um, and you can see that those two points there are the, um, yeah, the coil itself. Now you can't really see it, but these solder joints do look a little bit cracked. So um, I got my little microscope out just to get a closer look. Um, and you can see there, although you, it's it's almost impossible to see with the eye, you can see that solder joints are, are fatigued and cracked. So it could just be that it's not getting sufficient current, and um, yeah, that's why the the relay's dropping out. So once I saw that, I was convinced that that's, that's all it is, um, and all all it needs is some solder solder joint uh, touch ups. Now you'll see there, there's a bit of a void actually um, under that one. So um, yeah, just pay special attention and rework those um, coil um, solder joints. I actually just went through all, all of them. Uh, so for all the, the relays there, um, the the rear and the, the front, just touched them out up while I was at it. Though uh, for me it was only the center channel that was dropping out. So once that's done, it's just a matter of putting it all back together, plugging it in and um, giving it a test. So uh, I really hope that helps if uh, you're experiencing a, a similar problem. Um, it's just a matter of touching up some solder joints. So good luck with uh, with your amp.